What's happening everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to our BTR garage. Today we're doing a little more maintenance on my 2002 Ford F-250. We've got an oil change to do which I've showed you guys how to do before in the past. I'm going to utilize a couple of tricks you guys, the viewers, had taught me uh, the last time I did that video. The new thing that we're doing this time is actually a fuel filter change as well. So we're going to learn how to change the fuel filter, show you guys how to do it, and hopefully that helps you out. We're going to start off by showing you what we've got for oil and and additives and parts and things and then get started on the work. So here's what we've got today for this maintenance. We have our Motocraft OEM oil filter, this gigantic thing over here. This is the fuel filter I was talking about, also a Motocraft OEM brand. It has the gasket that comes with it as well in the little white packaging. For oil, we're using the Rotella T6 5W40. This is due to your guys' recommendations in my last oil change video. If you haven't checked that one out, you can find the link down in the description. So we're gonna use that oil this time, and we also got some Arc Oil AR9100 friction modifier. Uh, this is also per your guys' recommendations during my last oil change video. And lastly, we have a Fumoto oil drain valve. So this was, again, another recommendation. So thanks everybody for all of the recommendations on my last video. We're going to get all of this stuff into the car, of course, draining the oil first <laughs> that's in there. I've got my gigantic oil pan sitting behind me. We're going to get under the truck and get started. <laughs> All right, so back under the truck, we're gonna first drain the oil pan, pretty standard stuff. The tip that you guys had given me last time I did this was to punch a hole in the bottom of the oil filter in order to get that oil drained out of the filter because it has like a quart of oil in it. Also, don't forget with your new oil filter, you do need to fill it up with oil before putting it into the truck. But we're gonna drain this thing out real quick, pop a hole in the oil filter. I got an old screwdriver that I'm gonna use to do that one that I don't care about too much and uh, pop a hole in it and then and uh, keep moving forward. Alright, while the oil is draining down below, we're going to get started on the fuel filter on the truck and get that replaced next before filling the engine back up with the new engine oil and the arc oil. The fuel filter in the 7.3 power stroke diesel engine is located right in the valley of the V8 engine. So this guy right down here, that round cap, that is where your fuel filter lives inside that little bucket. Now before we pop the lid off of that thing and replace the filter, you want to drain that fuel bowl and that can be done by releasing a little lever behind the fuel bowl. You can see that little gold lever down there. I'll try to get a closer look for you. So that little lever down there, just underneath the wires on the bottom of the fuel bowl, that will actually turn out at a 90 degree angle. That opens up the fuel drain. But before we do that, we have to get a hose attached to the drain line so the fuel doesn't spill onto the floor. Now the easiest way to find the fuel filter drain tube is to look inside your passenger wheel well. You can see there's a little window just to the right of the shock. I'm gonna try to get the camera in here for a better view. And peeking inside the window there, just to the right of that shock tower, it's kind of tough to see. But right back in here, my fingertip is kind of the end of the tube. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to see. This little guy right here, that's your drain tube. We're gonna grab a plastic tube and attach it to that, which will go into a little cup underneath the truck to drain the fuel into. And there you can see my hose is attached to the drain tube. That goes down underneath the truck and you kind of have to reach underneath the frame here just below where the camera is. And getting the hose on there is not terribly difficult. So here you can see the tube coming off of the fuel filter drain tube. And it just goes down here into a little cup to catch the extra diesel fuel that might be left in the fuel bowl. So we'll come back to the engine bay here. I'll get up into the truck and release the lever and hopefully we'll see some fuel <laughs> coming out into the fuel cup. And there you can see the lever for our fuel filter drain bowl is in the open position. The fuel filter will release once you put it in that position.
So with that excess fuel, you can put it back into the truck. However, if you do that, make sure you filter it appropriately going back into the gas tank. I used a very fine screen filter in addition to a heavy duty thick shop towel and filtered it through that going back into the gas tank. It does of course go back through your new fuel filter anyways, but you wanna be safe, filter it out before it goes into the gas tank as well. Now we'll go ahead and get the fuel filter out of the fuel bowl and depending on what type of fuel filter you had in the truck prior to this, it might look like this where it has kind of a nut on the top of it for a socket or it may look different and I'll show you what the other style looks like here in a minute. This is I think more commonly known as an aftermarket type of fuel filter. You'll notice when we take this off, at least I'm pretty sure that's the way it'll be, the fuel filter will be attached to the lid which means if you replace it with another type of fuel filter you need to have a fuel filter that has a lid attached to it as well or you can go back to an OEM style which I have over on the bench over here and I'll show you the difference that's what I'm gonna put back in the truck is a OEM Ford style fuel filter cap and fuel filter they are separate parts we'll get this one taken off here and show you what it looks like careful to empty some of the fuel out of the filter itself so it doesn't get everywhere. There's also going to be a seal on the lip which you might not be able to see. So we'll take this over to the bench and I'll show you what the difference is. So here's our two different fuel filters. This one is obviously the one I just pulled out of the truck. As you can see the filter itself is attached to the lid. It doesn't come off or it probably comes off but with some force. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Instead I bought an OEM style filter which is this one here has this element on the outside and then the filter kind of on the inside you can see under there. And then this is what the OEM lid looks like or the OEM cap for the fuel filter reservoir. Installing the new filter is pretty straightforward. We're gonna clean off this lip here on top of the fuel bowl first because there is a gasket that goes onto it. That gasket is beveled. I'll put an image of it up on the screen here, but it is this one and you do want to kind of coat it in diesel fuel, which you should have some left in the bottom of your fuel bowl. Lay your gasket down in the seat of the fuel bowl, making sure you have it oriented correctly. The wedge kind of faces upward. You have a second round gasket that we want to soak in fuel as well. This one will go on to the filter itself. Grab our filter, put the O-ring on, pretty simple, snaps into place. It'll help to lubricate the O-ring on the inside as well. And we'll drop that into the fuel bowl, make sure it's snug and in place. And after that, we'll just grab our cap and screw the cap on. Now there is a special tool that fits into this cap to allow you to tighten it a little bit better. I don't have that yet. I have it on order. It's basically just a little C looking tool that fits into the ridges, comes up, goes over and goes back down into the other ridge and then has a socket on the top of it. But to compromise, you can use a regular old wrench like this and twist it. Once you have that snug, your new fuel filter is good to go. All right, we're gonna get our Fumoto valve put on. This thing comes with its own little gasket. Really just gotta make sure we clean up the bottom of the oil pan where it's gonna go into place. All right, so we'll get that threaded in by hand. And then it says to make an additional eighth of a turn. That's probably about an eighth. And the valve is in the closed position. I'm gonna get a rubber cap to put on the bottom of it as well. And it also has this little locking clip thing. You guys may or may not be able to see that, maybe in front of my face. Uh, but this thing goes around the edge here. I'll put that on in a minute when I get a better angle. What we're also gonna do is change out the oil filter. I've got my other oil filter behind me filled up with oil and Gotta make some room to get over here. 
and we'll get that guy off. You'll definitely want a strap wrench like this guy here. This tool to get your filter off makes it a lot easier. Again, I'll have links to all of this stuff down in the description if you guys want similar tools to make this job easier. All right, so give that a little bit extra with the strapping tool and uh, we can get back above the truck. So now we're ready to put all of the oil back into the truck now that we have everything buttoned up down underneath and ready to go. We have 15 quarts of oil that we need to put in the truck like I mentioned in my previous video. Roughly two quarts are in the filter itself. So we need just about three and a half jugs or so of the Rotella T6 5W40 oil. We're also gonna throw in our arc oil treatment. This is a small treatment, 16 ounces. If you guys remember, the last time I did the oil change, I used the Hot Shots Stiction Eliminator, which was, I think, two quarts alone itself. So you had to factor that into the oil change. The arc oil, it's a little bit easier. It says for all power stroke trucks, you dump this whole 16 ounce treatment into the oil. So let's fill it all back up and we should be done. All right, so I think we just about have everything wrapped up. We got the new oil change done. We got that Fumoto valve put on there. We got the arc oil treatments in the truck. And we did something new today by replacing the fuel filter as well. As most of us diesel owners know, changing the engine oil and changing the fuel filter are the two key things to keeping your truck running good and efficient while also extending its service life. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video today. Hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something new. I sure did changing out the fuel filter on the truck. Check out more of my Ford Power Stroke videos down below in the description. You can check out my MBRP 4 inch exhaust that I installed, my SMB performance intake, the aftermarket tow mirrors that I have installed on the truck, among other things as well. So make sure to check back soon. I'm going to be doing some more videos with my Ford 7.3 here, including a turbo upgrade. This is a turbo wheel for the compressor side of the turbo. We're gonna get really inside this truck, take the turbo apart, put the new wheel in, and improve the performance. We'll talk more about that in a future video. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Stay safe out there, stay fast. I am checking out. Talk to you all next time.